Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the Zoom H1 handy recorder that I got off eBay a couple of months back that I use for recording podcasts. So as you can see here, it has um, XY mic design, so it basically has two microphones, so it records in stereo. It can record in WAV or MP3 and support a maximum of 32 gigabytes to a micro SD card slot that you see here. So if I open that, you can see the single micro SD card. I'll give you a brief overview of the device. On this left hand side, you have the headphones out, so basically you can monitor whatever you record and the volume levels for the headphones itself. On the front, a little light to tell you if it's in recording, LCD, display, um, record button, mandatory power button, which is also the hold button if you push it up. And it has a USB connection so you can use this to connect to a computer to transfer the files off so it's basically mounted like a USB drive sadly you cannot use it as a USB microphone so just do take note other buttons you have the delete previous next pause and play so the previous and next can also be used to increase or decrease the recording by rate so you can see if I press up it increases it press down it decreases it accordingly Input level, so basically this controls the um, recording levels. If it's too low, you can pump it up. If it's too high, you can reduce it. And this is the input jack. So basically, you can take in um, a microphone input or even a line-in input. So meaning you can connect this to your mixer, your CD player, MP3 player, and record straight away. It will automatically detect which level to use and record accordingly. So dual microphones on the back, you have several controls low cut filter so you can switch it on and off auto leveling so if it's if you turn it on and if it finds that the recording levels are too low it will automatically increase it recording format as i mentioned it records in wave or mp3 there's a standard tripod mount on the back it is has it's made of plastic so you might want to be careful not to screw in um, it too tight it's powered by a single AA battery and on the bottom, it has a little speaker, so you can actually listen to any recordings right after you record them. So, the great thing is that while recording, you can dynamically increase the volume without stopping recording and starting again. And this is a basically a recording light. It's also a peak light. So, if it blinks, it means it's peaking, so you can reduce the volume accordingly. On the left hand side you can see the levels, the amount of time that it's currently recording, the buy rate that you're recording in, the battery level. So actually this can actually be powered over USB as well. So you can see the battery icon is showing now. But if I connect a USB cable to it that's connected to a computer, it goes away. So basically it's being powered off the USB, which is great if you find yourself running out of battery. Um, if you turn it off, it will automatically mount in USB mode. So you actually have to switch it on first before you actually connect this device in order to use it be powered off on USB when you connect it to a computer. So overall, this is a great device for my, what I use it for. It's great for recordings. The stereo microphones is good, especially when you're doing interviews. You can point one to, your, to yourself, point one the other one to your interviewee. So you actually have a little bit of sound separation. A uh, few issues I have with it, um, this flap comes off pretty easily sometimes, so as I think just now doing the review you, you saw it, it came off, so basically it comes off a bit like that. Um, it's a bit plasticky feeling, so it can feel kind of cheap, but I guess the, at the end of the day this is a budget device, so you kind of not expect too much of a high quality build, but even saying that, even though it's plastic it still feels solidly built. A um, few issues maybe is also that there's no windscreen for the microphone so it, you might want to watch out for any fans or winds in the area while you're recording. You don't want that to affect your affect your recording itself. Um, aside from that, I think it's a great device. I got it off eBay for about 100 plus US dollars, so about 150 Brunei dollars. And it's a good investment if you want to start um, recording podcasts, you want to start doing interviews, or if you just want to record your music. So with that, that's the Zoom H1 Handy Recorder. Hope you guys enjoyed this overview. Thanks for watching.